All right, guys. Wasn't able to go to Hearn today because of some car issues. Um, so we're gonna have a little launch day in my own little launch site here. Got the pads set up. Got my friend Corey with me. Here's the lineup. So let's get started. All right, this is my Estes Cosmic Explorer on a B64. Going up in five, four, three, two, one. Can I catch it? Can I catch it? Looks like the shot cord or the shroud lines are tangled around the fence. Yeah, but it looks like she's falling apart pretty good. Yeah, you can catch it if you want. Wind shifting crap. Or is she just doing circles? She's doing circles. Nice catch, bro. All right, supernova payloader on a D12-5. Come on, I want to step back this way, bro. I'll go, I'll get this one. All right, going in five, four, three, two, one. Come on, baby, eject. Yeah! Go get it, bro. It's going towards the road. I know. Wind was coming out of the north, and now it's blowing out of the freaking east. Oh, no, it's going to land in that tree. It's in that tree, bro. Yeah, almost tree. landed in that oak tree though. All right guys, so this is my custom themed Guggen Squad rocket. This is on the SS X5, a uh, high flyer XL body. We put a lot of work into it. I had my friend Steven help me, help me out here on this build a lot. Also had um, our neighbor, our other friend Misty help out with a lot of the decals. And overall this rocket has come together became a work of art and this is her maiden flight so fingers crossed and praying that she has a successful flight not a kato so uh without further ado let's uh launch her on her maiden flight maiden flight will be on a d12 5 and being that the wind is shifting a lot and it's blowing at about eight miles an hour i have my jolly logic shoot release in there set for about 200 feet So, I count down from five, right? Yep. What do I do? Just count down from five and hit the button? Push and hold it, yeah. Okay. Guggen Squad Rocket main flight going in five, four, three, two, one. Oh, ho, 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 ho. That so, went high. no, 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 no. Come That's. On, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That, come That's on. Bad. Come on, that's going towards that tree, dude. Oh, so the parachute did release from the chute release. Like it just partially. didn't. Uh, it just didn't fully open. The parachute basically turned into a streamer. Yeah, but you know what? I wouldn't call that an, a total fail because yeah. if you recover it in one piece then it's a successful flight man yeah you can see it got some discoloration on the shot cord right there yeah that's typical but you know what she'll fly again won't she yeah pick her up show us the fins make sure the fins are okay and everything yeah the fins are intact no damage i would say that was a pretty dang good flight you see there's no damage on the nose cone either awesome 
awesome sauce. All right, this is my Estes V2 on a D12-3. I hadn't flown this thing since 2014, so fingers crossed. Going in five, four, three, two, one. Whoa. Oh, Jesus, I can barely see it. Nice. Where's she going to land? That's the question. Hopefully not in that tree over there. They seem to want to drift towards that oak tree. On the fence, nice. All right, guys, it landed over the fence here. Yeah, it looks like she got a little bit of damage on her fin over here. Yeah, I'll see it when I... Like a little couple of chunks. I'll see. That was already some damage prior to flight. Oh, yeah, that was, that was there before the flight. Awesome. All right, this is my Estes Interceptor on a B64. Going up in five, four, three, two, one. Nice. Don't see any damage. Back end is still smoking. And the tube. Beautiful. All right, guys, I'm pretty nervous on this one because the winds are blowing the opposite direction of what, the want, what I want them to. So, uh, anyways, this is my Bad Boy Rocketry 29 millimeter Executioner clone on an E16-4 White Lightning. I have my Jolly Logic chute release on board set for 300 feet. Let's hope we don't lose this going in five, four, three, two, one. Oh, hang on, I didn't have the key turned. There we go. <laughs> Going in five, four, three, two, one. Five, four, three, two, one. There we go. Beautiful. Oh my God, that's gonna drift this way. There it is. There's deployment. It's it's coming down good. It's gonna have a good landing. Oh, wait, Parachute release has released. Beautiful. Nice. It's coming this way. That's a good landing too. That was going. actually less than what I was expecting. Uh, open rocket simmed it to be at 817 feet on an E16. Beautiful. That looked about what four or five hundred feet. That was a good launch. All right, guys, here it lay. Oh, it's just a blade of grass. For a second there, I thought I had a zipper, but it was just a piece of grass. No zipper. Fins are intact. Business end of the rocket looks pretty good. A little bit of charring on the uh, shock cord, but not nothing too bad chute release is uh, intact hell of a piece of equipment i'm telling you it's worth 140 dollars I'd, I'd suggest y'all get one nice this is my uh estes nike zeus estes rockets actually calls this the nike x but the proper name for this particular rocket is the nike zeus on a b64 Going in five, four, three, two, one. Beautiful. That's what you want. Yeah, the wind's blowing it that way towards the church now and not towards the highway. It's good. All right, here it lay, guys. Um, 
No damage. Awesome. This is my Estes Dark Silver on a C63 going in five, four, three, two, one. Tangled around the rocket. <laughs> Are you gonna try to catch it? Yeah. <laughs> 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 right here, like Let's see. Oh uh, yeah, I got tangled around the the pod there. Sorry, I'm trying to unravel it. Just got untangled. Or it got tangled up around the pod. And a little dent on the body, but no biggie. That's probably from where the nose cone came back and hit it after ejection. So other than that, no damage. Get that out of there. Beautiful. I don't know if y'all saw, but Corey took a dive on that last one. You all right, bro? I'm good. <laughs> you good? Yeah. Like, my what finger, happened? I was, like, there, and then, like, my finger, like, barely, like, scraped the body of the rocket, and then my right foot decided not to foot. <laughs> decided then, not to foot? Yeah, my right foot decided not to foot, and then, like, instead of just twisting and breaking my ankle, I just went down. <laughs> oh, man. Well, glad you're all right. Yeah, I'm good. All right, this is my uh, Estes Mercury Little Joe 1 on a C63. I've got twin 12-inch chutes on here going in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Go get it, boy! <laughs> <laughs> Only one of the chutes opened. Nice catch. All right, Estes Citation Patriot, C65. Hang on, nose cone's not on all the way. There we go. All right, Estes Citation Patriot, C65, going in five, four, three, two, one. Here lay. Don't see any damage. Fins look good. Awesome. All right. This is my Estes QCC Explorer on a D12-5. I have a nylon parachute in this one with a Jolly Logic chute release on board set for 300 feet. I built this rocket back in 2018 and this is just now it's made in flight. So fingers crossed going in five, Four, three, two, one. Oh, didn't turn the key. Five, four, three, two, one. Yeah. Oh, that one went high, dude. That one's up there. I know. Come on, release. There it went. Yeah. Right, it ejected. Parachute released. Beautiful. Hopefully it doesn't land on the road. No! Oh, it's in the power lines. All right, guys. Uh, it's the end of my launch video. Uh, I'm back home. It's about eight o'clock at night. I had some errands to run and stuff. Um, so I didn't have time to record this, but uh, QCC Explorer, 
landed in power lines with my chute release on board. Called the power company out. They were able to get it, but the guy got a little careless with my QCC Explorer trying to get it down. Zippered the tube. And so I don't know how to fix a zipper. I'd rather just re I'd just rather build a whole nother kit because this was an incredibly fun build. Um, I gotta untangle the parachute. Parachute is ridiculous. I mean, look at that. Look at that mess. Um, all in all, though, it was a pretty good flight, except for it getting stuck in the power lines. But I did get it back. I got my chute release back. I had to wait on the power company to come out there, and they took forever. But I got everything back. I'm going to have to build a new QCC Explorer. Um, or, I don't know. Do something with this one, I guess. Just cut it below the zipper and put a payload tube on it, maybe. So, but yeah. So that concludes uh, this video for today's launch. And I hope you all enjoyed watching every single one of these rockets lift off. Thank you all.